Hello everybody, this is VR, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a gun, where if you shoot it, it'll launch people. Let's get started. So first what you're going to do, is open up your watch, go to backpack, make a pen, and press the use button. You're then going to go to create, it'll open up your palette, palette. Gadgets, CV2 gadgets, and then first thing you're gonna get is a piston V2. Next thing we're gonna get is in props, dynamic, scroll a bit, trigger handle. Now you're going to make you're gonna make sure that you freeze this. Right when you spawn it, hold on, just get the rotations correct. Before you freeze it, make sure you have the rotations correct and stuff. Next, what you're going to do is get the piston, point it just like that. Once again, make sure the rotation and, you know, moving is fixed. I'm just gonna align that. Perfect. And now we have this. So we're gonna go over to gadgets, other gadgets, Impulse volume and just ma make an impulse volume maybe size of this. I don't know. It depends on whether you want it to be easy or hard to hit people. You know, if you want to make it easier, just make the trigger volume big. You're gonna you're gonna get your trigger volume and put it like right in front of the piston. Let's just say um, we're gonna get. You know, 50. Okay, now, now that we have that, we're going to wire the tip of the piston on the impulse volume and the body to the trigger handle. Now, whenever I move the trigger handle, this will come along with it as well. The thing is, once I use the trigger handle, it's not gonna do anything. That's why what we're gonna do primary action pressed, make it play. Primary action released. I'm gonna make it reverse. So, whenever you're holding this, this impulse volume will go straight. And whenever you release, it's going to reverse backwards. Max distance, max distance doesn't matter, it's just infinite. The speed though, you'll have to set that on your own. You can't make it too high, otherwise it's not going to be able to hit the player and they're not gonna get flinged. I recommend maybe cell speed of like 15, maybe. Okay. Now, this can be the last step if you just want this trigger trigger handle. But if you want to add a model to it, I'll show you that shortly. So let's just make like a terrible model. I'm not going to try too hard. And right, now we have this trash model. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go over, we're going to move this over in, inside of the trigger handle. And just move it in. Before you do anything else, make sure you configure the model and make sure it's on decoration. Otherwise, the whole thing is going to go crazy. You know, we're going to open our palette, gadgets, gizmos, and clamp. You're going to want to clamp the tip to the model and the body to the actual trigger handle. There we go. And now, if we just, you know, unfreeze that, we'll have our gun and if we pull our makeup pen, the thing's following along with it. So, what happens if I pull the trigger? It's gonna go forward and if I pull it back, yeah, it's gonna do that. So as you, can, as you can see, it's clearly shooting me far away. So if I were to just hold on, grab this from a different angle without flying. As you can see, the, tr the, the impulse volume is not touching me. If I were to do this, then it would touch me. But we're not going to do that. So I'm gonna pull the trigger and then we're gonna get sent flying depending on the way the gun is looking at. Just keep in mind 
the max distance and the speed of the impulse volume that's all your choice i'm just setting this for an example thanks for watching this short cv2 tutorial on how to make um, a launching gun so thanks for watching my cv2 tutorial on how to make a launching gun this is a really easy tutorial to follow and if you want to add this in your game just go ahead i don't need any credit thanks for watching my video i really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video Bye.